the heck have you been? I think it was a mental thing for me between stuff that's happening to so many other people. It's just been a lot, I think, and a phone call from my wonderful nephew who is so much like his dad. God bless him, God bless him, God bless him. And he was just checking in with me. He sent me a text this morning and said, I'm Jackie, I haven't seen a video in three weeks. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it today. If you're like me too right now, you're probably not in the mood to change your closet. You really can change your closet because the temperature is not there yet, but at the same time, you wanna like not wear like everything all black and look so wintery. So my video today is gonna briefly be about transitional looks, light layering. I did buy just a few things to sort of help me achieve this video today, but nothing too crazy, but I'll show you what they are. So let me start with the first outfit. I'm gonna share with you six Okay, so here's the first one. This one, I was inspired. I was in New York recently and I walked by and went into the Prada store. And in the window, I'll show it, I'll show it to you here. They had this um the 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 mannequin head on this gray long skirt and uh just the sweater with the jacket thrown on top and i'm thinking i love it like the simple the silhouette and so if you need to wear a skirt kind of like business casual or something. Uh, I came home, I said, you got something very similar without buying this expensive whole sweater. I said, I can't do that, but how can I accomplish that? I've had this probably like about five years and it's pleated all the way around, like very similar to like that Prada skirt. Then I went in my closet and I grabbed a sweater. So like I said, I don't have the pretty one with the holes in it like Prada, but this give you the same vibe. So it's just a gray and uh, off-white sweater. And so if I put those two together, let me stand back. I thought this would be cute, right? So that gives me the same look. And then all you have to do is like throw it on with um, like a, a biker jacket or something or a jean jacket or a blazer if you want. And you know, you can get away with like not wearing like socks or boots if you don't want to. So you could just throw on a pair of like little loafers or something like little Chanel flats, ballet flats, or just something like that, or Gucci mules or whatever you want to wear. And there's like the perfect transitional look if you, uh, you know, you want to wear something for work or wear a skirt or whatever you want to do. But I thought this is a perfect uh, inspiration of art from Thanks to Prada. And oh, I will tell you this though. I did buy one thing when I was in a Prada store and thinking about the layering, I did take a plunge and buy something. This is probably the most expensive I have ever bought on this item and that is a hat. But I have been looking for uh, a baseball hat, a specific uh, a black baseball hat, which is really hard because I feel like I have a big head. And so the women's baseball hats are too small for my face, the brim. And the men sometimes are too long, but this one I found is perfect. And I like it because it was tone on tone. So it has the tone on tone, uh, black patch with the black stitching, and then you can adjust it. Oh, this was cool too. I had never seen it before, but I guess how expensive it is. It's nice to have some type of little extra perks. But the hidden adjustment is underneath. I had not seen this before. So it's kind of hidden. But anyway, so you can make it longer or shorter. And then it's like a flap over. And then you don't see it. So there's no snaps or elastic. So which is pretty cool. While I was in New York also, I did go to one of my favorite consignment stores. And you guys know that is the real real. I actually go to several but lately i've been finding some really good finds online and in the store and i will tell you too going real real on the website because like you know we're transitioning to the spring most of their winter stuff is like at a really 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 good price so if there's something that you've seen that you want definitely check it out and don't just rely on the amount that you see put it in your shopping cart and then you'll probably see in a different a uh, additional amount come off of it so anyway so I found a couple of things for real where I'm gonna share with you uh, I got this beautiful pink sweater just trying to once again so it is winter because it's a cashmere sweater but a short sleeve so it's perfect to wear right now and it has this little like cutout opening at the bottom on the side and it's like it goes on a diagonal and this is by 
Oh, Calvin Klein. So Calvin Klein. Uh, yeah. So I got this at a really good uh, price. I can't wait to wear that. I've kind of been like on this pink mission to a lot. Oh, look at this. I just realized this. Let me put, put the, uh, that looks great too. The gray skirt and wearing this pink sweater. It would be really nice. Okay. I just saw that. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got a couple other things from the real real. So let's see. Put that there. I've got this long tunic, but I think I'm going to return it to like so similar to a couple things I already have. And I'm like, you know, don't be greedy, but I got it on sale. That's why I wouldn't hit. I got it. But I think I'm just going to return this one. So I'm not even going to show y'all that one. But something else I got from the real real is this beautiful sweater, which is perfect for layering. It's a Angora wool, light green, pale green sweater, which is like a nice transitional color. And this one is by Acne Studios and I got it on sale too. It's so pretty and I thought it would go really nice with, you, you know, like right now I could just wear like a high round neck shirt with it and layer it. And then as I get like, you know, the next couple of weeks, I can wear like a, my famous v-neck t-shirts put it on with some jeans or some pants or something and i thought it was perfect and here's something else you know i'm trying to definitely dive into getting more colors you guys i'm i i know i've been talking about it for last year but i have definitely made a super super um strong strong effort into not buying so much black all of the time and so something else that i got from the real real that i'll share with you is these beautiful pants aren't they gorgeous so i got these on sale too so they're like a crop cut and these are by by celine oh my gosh i think i think i paid less uh i think i paid like maybe a hundred and something dollars for these they are so gorgeous i just love the color they're cropped so i can wear them like with my gucci slides i can wear sneakers with them um you can wear sandals with them you can wear loafers with them so you can really wear anything with them and then here's what i thought i would do too as a trans transitional look how about that so you know wearing the green sweater with the blue pants and with the white shirt i just thought it would be so so nice so i cannot wait to wear these uh so that is some another look so you can always add my famous you know what my go-to long white tunics so if you pair these two together that would be really nice too and then how i would probably wear let me put that to the side so here's probably what i'm going to do i'm going to try this one so i would wear the blue pants right i would put on the long white tunic on top and then what i think i'm going to do is put on this vest like this gray vest so this is actually a look that i could wear like right now because like it's only i don't know it's like Probably, we're still in our 50s, y'all. So I've shown you three looks. More of a, a business casual. Wearing it with the sweater is more casual. And then if you still wanted to put on the vest, that's just another way of how you could wear it. So that is like three looks right there. And then I have two more that I want to share with you. So now I'm going to go back to my another tunic. So remember I said I had something similar. I actually, I think... I might have gotten this one from Real Real too. So this one is by Provincial Schooler. And so it's so similar to that other long tunic. That's why I'm like, okay, Jackie, you just being greedy. But anyway, so, and I showed this to you guys last year where it had the drawstring down at the bottom. But here's how I think I'm gonna pair this one over the next couple of weeks. Still wearing black because it's chilly. But I'm gonna wear this with my leather on one side cloth joggers right so leather on the front cloth on the back and then i'm going to wear it with the long tunic and then i thought for the pop of color not to wear all black i'm going to wear it with this yellow pretty yellow um t-shirt and i got this from target i want to say how much was this ten dollars ten dollars and it fits so nice because and it doesn't fit as hard and stiff as the other um what's that brand what's the 
Frankie, the Frankie tees. So it's not as wide and stiff as the Frankie. It's like Target's version of it, but I love this Target version of it. And for $10, I definitely love the Target version of it because I did buy another version like from H&M with more of that stiffer and it's not me. I It was like a long sleeve sweatshirt. I wore it one time and I've already given it away. So I know I'm not gonna do that anymore. So this I was willing to do because it's not stiff, which is more comfortable to me. And I like, cause it was like high, high up on the neck. And I love, I think it's like gonna be my, one of my favorite colors for the summer. As I start to buy more pops of color, I'm definitely loving the, this beautiful yellow. And for $10, it's perfect. And I thought it would look so nice with the black. Oh, Vegas is back, can y'all tell? I got this from the lady I told you um, from New York and she put bees on all of her stuff. I have like the camouflage sweatpants you guys have seen. It's a, a, a couple of things you've seen. And I love, love, love her stuff. So took the plunge and I got this beautiful banana yellow sweatshirt, sweat, banana yellow sweatsuit I love. So it's just a hoodie. You know what, I'm gonna turn down the light so you guys can see this. So it's just a banana yellow sweatsuit it is so pretty it's all about like layering the looks with things that are already in our closet that we don't have to buy anything unless you want to buy something but you don't have to buy anything and um and i kind of have fun putting this video together it was like sort of like my like you know welcome back after a three week break of missing you guys so much stay tuned because i have lots of stuff in this room that i am i cannot wait 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 to share with you so i'm actually going to be taping that probably in the next couple of days so stay tuned i got some shoes i got some other stuff and i would say i did some um i would say pick me up purchases is probably what i'm going to call that video so stay tuned you guys love you thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and joseph i love you i love you i love you thank you guys so much thumbs up i love you and subscribe see you soon